Hello guys, everyone out there. Welcome back to the bench. And today I'm going to go over Tamiya PS Paints for polycarbonate. This is for uh, clear, flexible plastic. And uh, I did get some clear plastic and I cut them into these strips. So we're gonna test some on this clear strips. We're also gonna test it, of course, on what it's made for. I bought a bunch of these car bodies to uh, test these and also to test the uh, Vallejo Premium uh, acrylic polystyrene paint. This is made also for Lexan car bodies. So I had a reason enough to buy a few of these and um, we're gonna try it out. With these, you paint them on the inside and it's tricky with the spray can, unless you're doing the whole thing, it's kind of easy. At that point, for me, I'm gonna try and paint a couple of sections, so it's gonna be a little tricky. Uh, easy with an airbrush, but not so much with a spray can. All right, let's put that back there. Um, I got a variety of colors. I bought a whole three boxes of a variety of colors. Metallic red, gunmetal, metallic blue, uh, a couple of different silvers. This is copper. Um, we got here translucent silver. I think you put this over or under a solid color. I think I bought too many silvers. Here's a regular silver. Um, let's see what else we got here. Sky blue anodized aluminum, my favorite colors. Look at that, that's beautiful. Here's a clear, a flat clear gold. Translucent purple, metallic orange. I think with the purple, you gotta back it up with a, a silver. Semi-gloss silver, anodized. So we have a little bit of a variety. Um, I'm only going to spray a couple on camera. And I'll go over the results after that. Now here's the thing. Uh, I tried it on several different surfaces, and it failed miserably on many of them. Uh, you can see it, it's all hazed up on this. This is actually uh, Tamiya. Let me, hold, let me show you something. This is on their own primer. I want to show you their uh, their primer. Let me pause the camera. All right, guys. This is, to me, a fine surface uh, primer. This is uh, oxide red, right? Yeah, oxide red. And uh, there it is sprayed. I have a whole bunch ready to go. I always have my spoons primed and ready to go. And this is the metallic blue. It's over here somewhere. Over this. And it just, it ate it up. It's all... I wish you could really see it, but it's it's awful looking in person. The, the light actually makes it look decent. So it didn't even work on their own primer at all. So um, this is why I wanted to show you guys all these different results. This is just over plastic. It's all chewed up and ate into the plastic. You can see it's, it's kind of melting it over here. So it was really, really rough on everything until I tried, uh, you know how much stuff I have? Throw those in the trash that I have on my bench and on my wall. I have every product there is practically. And this is what worked. Uh, the Mr. Surfacer came out the best. Either airbrushed, I airbrushed some and I sprayed some with the cans. Um, so it works best with a lacquer primer as one of my uh, subscribers even noted before I even uh, mentioned it to you guys. Uh, I'm grabbing these off the shelf as so you can see. I also airbrushed some to make sure it went great. It did. It went good. These are all 1500s, which is a very smooth primer. And um, I labeled everything white, so we know I'm going to spray it over white primer. This is that. And this is that. I'll put a B for black. Okay? Now, I also painted up some uh, Gumpla pieces. See that? And I got some white ones here. Hold on. And there's some white ones. And that's with that. So we'll get some different results. We'll spray it over a piece of clear. We'll spray each of those spoons, some gumpla pieces. We'll pick some random colors. And actually, we'll do a couple colors on the inside of this car body. And um, we'll see the results. Now, this is their own flat clear. Um, I was told to use this above and beyond their own. But uh, I'll try a piece um, with their regular clear, which is right there. This is their normal clear for plastics. And then this, you can see it's just for polycarbonate. So they're completely different. So we'll see what kind of results we get with that. But anyway, I sprayed a bunch behind the scenes. I'm going to do some on camera. And uh, we'll do a few different things. We're going to uh, 
like I said, we'll pull the car body and we'll do it on the spoons, some gumpla pieces, and maybe even um, the silver. What we'll do is maybe we'll put some color down first. Maybe we'll put the clear purple or something and then put the silver on behind it and see what that comes out like. And then we'll check its durability as far as bending these sheets around, but I think that's what it's made for, so it should pass that test. But anyway, let's over to the booth. Um, I'm going to put these in warm water. You've seen my warm water trick. You just put it in a coffee cup with some warm water for about a minute. Loosen it up. I got that next to my booth. And I dry them off with a towel before I begin. And one more thing. you got to shake the cans really well. And uh, I've been using... I've been using my brand new paint shaker. Boy, this is heavy. It's hard to maneuver with one hand. Oh, man, it's awkward, too. And... Um, all you want to do is take your can. I like to flip it over, and you can hear that. I mean, I couldn't shake it that well myself, you know. And uh, early tests show that this really does shake it up really good. Only about 20, 30 seconds should do you. I mean, if you want to go all the way around with it, you could. But I think upside down is the best. And that's it. You're ready to go. If you haven't seen my video on the paint shaker, uh, just go back a few videos on my channel, and you'll see it. This thing has been invaluable to me. And um, if you do a lot of painting, it will be for you too. Sorry guys, I'm bouncing around here, not near the mic. Anyway guys, let's head over to the booth and let's see how these come out. Okay guys, I'm here at the booth. I'll talk a little louder over the fan. I use a heavy duty um, air filter for these. I cut them, um, they're usually home air filters. I just cut them to fit, put them up and I do these. These take up a lot of, uh, they're really heavy, some of these spray paints, and they clog these up fast. So I use these just for that, then I get rid of them. I put in my standard filters when I'm done. But uh, it's in the, I have it in the warm water. I dry it off. I keep it below the bench, the cup. Uh, pretty well shaken. So let's see what we got. We'll start with white spoon. And now this stuff comes out really heavy, watch. It covers really fast. So, um, Now, I haven't had any trouble with it running. Very good looking blue there. Look at that. Now, if that was just over the plastic or any other primer, it would already start melting, I believe, is what I was coming up with. I don't know if we're going to see this on the black, but let's see what we get. Oh, yeah, nice color. You know, all my early tests, this is my favorite one so far. And, I mean, and this is the first time I'm seeing it. Look at that. That's a beautiful color. All right, let's try it on a gumpla piece. I don't know if I want to put this on the black. You know what? I like it so much on that black, I want to try it on this now. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, yeah, this is a great color. Look at that. I'll show it over the lighting at the bench. Wow, that's awesome. This is a good one. I do like this one. And because of that, let's try it over the body. I think in the body, we're going to need to back this up. So it's a good test for us. You know, let me get these other ones out of here. I'll use a dark one on this side, and I'll use this one on here. We'll We'll experiment. But you can see how tricky it is to do these if you're just doing it in a section at a time. If you're not airbrushing it. It's better if I sprayed the whole piece. If you guys are painting one color, which you probably are, I'm doing this just for the test. We'll see how that ends up looking. Alright, we'll put that aside. Let me go get one of those clear strips. I'll be right back. All right, here we go with the clear strip. I had to label it. Probably going to get the same results as the other one, but this is probably going to be easier for us to look at. Trying to keep it from wobbling here. There we go. Really transparent. Look at that. Why wow, that really is transparent. Oh, some little pieces on it. That stinks. 
this really should go over silver is what I'm thinking. But eh, we'll check it out. We're experimenting here. All right, let me get another color. All right, guys, next up is gold. PS13. Here we go on black first. That certainly is gold. Wow. Oof. That is a dark gold. Let's try it on the light. Maybe that helps out a bit. Oh, yeah. It changes it right up. Oh, my God. It's a whole different color. I find these much more translucent than uh, any other of their opaque paints. gonna come out like the blue but let's try it oh no it's a little darker I like to keep it so it isn't there we go here we go we'll let that dry all right I don't think uh, let's see yeah maybe we will I'll bump the end of it there thinking as I'm going here guys um, I don't know if I want to try it on one of these parts but yeah let's give it a try let's see it's a popular color for the Gundams anyway so let's try the gold I personally if I was you guys this dries really fast I would let this dry a couple minutes then come back in for another coat matter of fact I'll pause it now and I'm gonna do that now guys right back I'll let it dry for a few minutes get another second coat here it levels itself really nice but it performs really differently from their other paint that's for sure and that's probably because it's formulated to bend you know really nice gold though particularly for Gundams look at that that's beautiful all right on to the next color all right, guys, let's go ahead and try this uh, PS61 Metallic Orange. Oh, that's orange. That covered quick. <laughs> that's nice. Wow, that's a nice orange. I don't know what it's going to look like over black, but let's find out. Takes a little more to get to cover the black. There it is. There we go. Wow, hold on a second. How's that? Yeah, we'll check it under the lights. It's a really good looking color. Let's, uh, let's try it over a gumpu piece. Really good. It's a really good looking orange. Let's try it over the clear. Let's try something here, guys. I'm gonna try and hold it with this spoon so it doesn't bop around. There we go. That helped. I will just put that aside. All right, on to the next color. All right, guys, next up, PS34, bright red. Let's see what we got. Push this baby off. That's 
bright red. It looks like it's all lumpy, but it's starting to level off. There it is. I'm trying to stop for this. All right. Don't know what it's going to look like over black, but let's try it. Oh, it's almost orange. Makes it almost a blood red. Wow, that's a really nice dark red. Beautiful. All right, let's try it again with this spoon. That helped quite a bit over the clear plastic. That's good. That is good. You know what? This is the most opaque one, so let's try this for the other half of this body. You can see how it's drying already on this side. So let's try it out. You know what's going to happen? I think a lot of the blue ended up over there. Yep. So I should have masked it off after all. That's too bad. I wanted to test it. But I got a lot of blue in there. Hold on one sec. Can I get this little truck here? We'll try this one. Like I said, these are tough to do unless you're going to do the whole body. You really have no control over it. Oop. Sorry, guys. Man, it covers really, really good, but you got to do it fresh right out of the package. And like I said don't do don't do another color unless you're gonna mask it off that's for sure it covers really nice though now I'm gonna hold it from the outside here let's get the front these are the same bodies that I'm gonna do the uh, Vallejo test with Vallejo keep slipping into my old vernacular Oh, that went on really, really nice. All right, we'll let that dry. And I'm going to try one thing. I'm going to try and put some silver over one of those uh, other colors. So let's see what that looks like. All right, guys, here's the transparent red that I did. You can see how transparent it is. See it? Let's put this silver over it. Uh, PS12 silver. And uh, let's go on the side with the paint. Here it is. It's the dull side. Let's use this spoon so it doesn't pop around. Let's see what we get. All right. Now, if you guys were doing this, I would mask off because the paint's going to get around to the front. So we'll let this dry, and we'll see what it looks like on the front and how that works out. While we're at it, let's see what the silver looks like over uh, some black. Well, not bad. It's a good looking silver. That ain't bad. the black really good anyway I did a bunch off camera let's go back to the bench and see what we got okay guys here we are back at the bench let's go over some of these results quick and uh, well we started with the blue uh, anodized aluminum blue sky blue right there that's over white beautiful color over the Gumpler piece, beautiful color. One of my favorites. Now, here it is over black, but look what it did. Can you see it all hazed out? This one was airbrushed. This was with the spray can. No problems. So, it has to be the spray can 
because I've gotten similar results with some spoons that I airbrushed. Um, and it was airbrushed for a couple days, so it dried for a while. I don't know why, but this is all I used on all of them, this or this. And that's the only difference, is one was airbrushed, and this was from the spray can. So, uh, be that as it may, take that with a grain of salt. I think if you're going to do it, you need a lacquer spray can. Here it is over the clear. Beautiful color. You can see it's clear right there, but when you put it in the light, it's not clear at all. In certain angles, you can't even see my hand under it. Actually, where's the car? Here's the car. And I, I loaded up the car, so you can barely see my hand through it back was the red but that was a little bit of a mess so that's why I did the other one and you can back these hold on a second and you can back these up with a a coating of whatever other color you want but the predominant color will be the one on the top and I would put a silver or one of these translucent silvers on the bottom but uh, it looks good right there though I mean it's, it's solid right here so you can't see my hand through it it really is nice and it, it you can really what this is made for is to take a beating on these flexible plastic pieces and it's just not going to crack or anything. So, there you go. Really nice color though. That blue is a really nice color. Here is the gold over white. Gold over the black. Over a black gumpla piece. Really nice. Look at that. And here it is over the clear plastic. And there's the uh, see through part. And here's the painted surface. I'm favoring the side because that's the side I sit on, just so you guys know. I always mention that. But look, it, this is not going to crack. It literally becomes part of the plastic. All right. PS37 transparent red that's over the white turned it into a is this what? I think it is now look at this again look at this it melted the black it didn't like this black uh, airbrush primer but this was from the spray can the white and this is it over the plastic and with the silver behind it and that's what we ended up with kind of a pearlescent candy color there pretty nice actually and again this this you can do what you want with this it's not going to uh, crack at all all right that's the red let's grab a few more pieces let me pause this all right next up is we have a few colors here here is the copper this is uh copper over white we'll start with that look how nice one of the best colors in the lineup, I think. That is beautiful. This is it over black with the clear. I sprayed the uh, flat clear over it. Not exactly flat, but it's probably a protectant is what it is if you're going to put it over plastic. What other reason would you want the flat clear? Because um, you'd have to spray that over the plastic part of the body, I would guess. Not on the paint underneath. This is it... Uh, on a straight piece of plastic. Sorry, man, the light's reflecting on it. Nice and even. This is a stiffer plastic, but I switched over to the thinner stuff so you can show how easy you can bend it. This is a little too stiff for the test, so I switched over. But the copper is really nice. Here is the blue, uh, right here, metallic blue. This is over black. PS16, yep, the blue. How pretty is that? That is a really nice blue. This is it on a clear spoon, as you can see. This is it over white. You can see the difference right there for sure. Same spray can, different primer. And this is it on a clear piece like that other one, the stiffer plastic, so I put the white up here so you guys can see it through. Sprayed nice and even. All right, let me get a few more colors, one second.
Hey guys, I forgot to show you this. The copper and the blue is uh, right here. I tested this body piece out with it. And there's the blue in the middle. I tried the red in the end, but I had too much blue come over. But uh, this was dark enough that the blue didn't interfere with it. See? Check that out. That is awesome. It looks so good through the plastic, the heavy Lexan body plastic. I wanted to show you. I almost forgot about that. Let's put that aside. All right, here is gunmetal over black. Gunmetal. Real nice, actually. That's over white. Almost no difference. So this is a really opaque color for the lineup. This is it over the clear. Look at that. That's beautiful. That's nice. And again, it's on that flexible plastic that nothing's going to happen to it. Beautiful color. This is PS15, which is right here, the bright red. Metallic red. All right. You can't even see the metallic in it. Oh, I, uh, I can see it here. I don't know if you can catch it on the light. Let's try it over the black. Oh, you can see it there. Yeah. This one is PS36 translucent silver. This is over black. This is over white. And I'm not sure if that's all I have. Hold on a second. Oh, we got the orange. Here's the red and the body, the whole body I painted. Check that out. I had to go get the orange, which is right behind me. Look at that. Now that's nice and even. It looks like the body's molded in that color. So these are terrific uh, for your RC uh, hobby. You get these uh, bodies, you paint them any way you want them, you know, and they really, really can take a beating. Uh, we'll also be testing the Vallejo colors, as I said, um, using this plastic method. And uh, I believe these are better, actually, for general plastic for our kits. That's why I wanted to test the two. But, uh, yeah, that's the red. And here is the metallic orange. That's over white. Another really nice color. This is it over black. Whole different hue to it. Oh yeah, you can see it there. This is it over the clear. That's the pot I think I painted, let me see. I can't even tell. Wow, you can't even tell what side's painted. This is it over that gumpla piece. tough to get it in the light perfectly but it dried nice it looks really good that's a unique color for sure and that might be it oh hold on guys pearl white look at this now this well I didn't want to bother spraying on camera but you can't see the pearl at all uh, I, in person I can't even see it I'm trying to catch it a little bit under the light I'm catching it now but it actually covered pretty nice for a white spray paint. I mean, look at that. Let me get some of this dirt off it. There you go. Look at that. I mean, you can see the pearl in person. It looks like a pearl car color. Really nice, actually. This is one of the better colors, but even though it's it's hard to see on camera, it just covered and dried so evenly and nice. And the pearlescence effect is really subtle, which is good for kits because you don't want it to be, you know, too gaudy. Because then it doesn't look uh, it doesn't look to scale. But that's one of the better colors as far as opaque goes. And uh, I got one more silver. Right here. We did it over that piece. Look at how nice this piece came out. Very nice. PS36, this is translucent silver. So this is what I would put um, down first, and I would pick one of the clears, or even one of the opaques, and go over this for for a whole new effect, for sure. PS12, this is pure silver. This is their straight silver, nothing fancy, just says silver on the labeling. And uh, again, a really nice silver, to tell you the truth. 
you know, pretty neutral though as far as the spoons go. No real difference. But uh, big difference with the uh, translucent. It's got that sparkle. Look at it. Anyway, that's it, guys. There is the test of the polycarbonate. Uh, personally, not crazy about it. Of course, it's made for something else completely, which is these RC car bodies, which obviously look how beautiful it. It looks like I dipped this in plastic. It's truly what it's made for. But um, with great care, I think if you use the spray can of a lacquer primer, you should have good luck with it because um, that's what you get. You know, and the colors are nice. But uh, I don't see any big reason, unless they're cheaper, to not use the uh, t regular Tamiya spray cans that I always demoed and uh, I really like. I use them every day practically for base coats. And uh, But that's my opinion. I, I think uh, these are made for those plastic car bodies specifically and, and there's a reason for it. You know, it does look great though in that field. And uh, But you can't stretch it. If you're going to do that and you want to build a model, you're all going to get good results if you do it the right way. And um, And that's it. All right, guys, that is it for today. Um, I got a lot more tests to go, and uh, Hobby Mio is sending me uh, some product I'm going to be testing. I just got in this uh, airbrush. It's a disposable airbrush, kind of. You throw away the tip, so there's no cleaning. You just clean the tip and change the bottle. And uh, this just came in today, so I'm dying to check it out. And uh, I also got this. Look at that. Airbrush stands. And it's a quick-release so when you're near the bench, you know, you just leave it in. And when you want to grab it, you just push down and you're going. And you're ready to go with your airbrush. It uses a standard uh, quick release. How cool is that? So uh, there's that. And I have a bunch of stuff. I just got in a bunch of solvent paints from uh, Custom Creative. And we'll be testing those out soon. And I got a bunch of new Mi uh, Moto paints and E7 paints coming in. Um, which uh, I really like these paints. So I'm going to go through most of those opaque colors next. And, uh, and that's it for now. All right, guys, have a good week. We will see you on the weekend with another video. Uh, I'm not sure what we'll do next, but uh, we have about 10 of these things uh, in the wings waiting. Um, SMS, I got a full lineup of SMS paints I think I'm going to be testing very soon. I got a coupon code for you guys, so I've been waiting to get the code before I can go ahead and do that. And uh, I will have my uh, paint, my own personal lineup of paints launching hopefully in a week or two. And uh, that's a big announcement. That should be coming hopefully within a week. And uh, you guys will be excited to see this. This is uh, something special. And uh, well, that's it for now. So please like the video if you haven't already. And subscribe uh, in particular for many, many more tests to go. And uh, even send me some suggestions if, suggestions if you guys want me to test something for you. Uh, with that, I'll let you guys go. Have a great week. And we'll see you in the next video.